So you might have noticed that every time you restart our Linux virtual machine, it doesn't restart Mirth Connect. You have to go back in and manually restart Mirth Connect. So in this video, we're going to set it up so that Mirth Connect will automatically restart whenever our Linux machine restarts. And the way we do that is through something called systemd. And this is sort of getting into the Linux administration side of things. So I'll try and keep it simple. Uh, what you want to do is log in as the Mirth user with the password there. And if I go into the Mirth files folder, you can see there's a folder or a file in here called Mirth, mirthconnect.service. And if I cat mirthconnect, Dot service, it will show you the contents of that file. And what this is, is instructions telling Linux how to start Mirth Connect. So what we want to do is we want to set this up and register this file with the Linux system so that it will automatically restart Mirth Connect. So first things, let's uh, make things a little bit easier for ourselves, um, And that's mainly because our Mirth Connect folder in here has a space in it. And the way spaces work in Linux is a little bit tricky when it comes to how you deal with them on the command line. So to save ourselves some headaches, we're going to remove the space from this name. And in fact, we'll go a step further and make it all lowercase. So we want to MV move, MV stands for move, and then capital M, press tab, it should autocomplete to Mirth Connect with the escape characters in place for the, the spaces. You want to hit space and then rename it as Mirth Connect. No spaces, all lowercase. Now if you do LSL again, you can see our folder has changed from Mirth Connect to just Mirth Connect with no spaces, no uppercase characters. And if you notice, up at, up at the, where we concat, when we catted the uh, service file, we already have it set up in here that systemd is going to be looking for this path with our renamed folder. So this is going to work. You can see this is the absolute path of the service that it's look, going to be looking for. It is important to note though that this particular setup is not ideal especially for uh, production builds. You would not want to put this into production. Um, you wouldn't want to have these files placed like this. You wouldn't have them you wouldn't want to have them under this user um, there's a lot of changes you would want to make to secure the system, but we're not going to cover that because we'd be here for hours going over these topics. So just keep in mind that this is only for a uh, example server to just get an idea of what the software is supposed to do and what it's supposed to look like. So what we want to do is we want to take this mirthconnect.service and move it over into the systemd startup files. So to do that, first we need to type su and enter, and then type in the root password, and you should be logged in as a root at this point. So you used su, which stands for super user, which elevates your uh, account to the root user, essentially. So now we want to go ahead and change directories into our target directory. So we want to do cd forward slash usr slash lib slash systemd slash system. And this will take us to the main directory for systemd that has all of the startup stuff for Linux. So if we do ls, you can see there's a whole bunch of files in here for all different kinds of things, um, but we don't need to worry about those. What we want to do is we want to take our mirthconnect.service file and just add it to these other files so that it'll be executed the same way. So let's start by doing a cp copy. And then we want to copy from the directory we were just at. Um, in this case, we want to do forward slash home mirth mirth files and then mirthconnect.service. So this is going to be copying from the mirth user directory, this mirthconnect.service file, and then we want to do space period. 
and that's going to tell it that we want to take that file and move it into the current directory that we're in. That's what the period stands for. So we can press enter. And now if we do ls, we should be able to see in here. I uh, can't really see it too well. If I do ls m star, and we can see in here we have our mirthconnect.service. So that's good. That means that the service file is in place and it's ready to be enabled. At this point, we want to go ahead and type in systemctl, enable, and then mirthconnect.service. And what that will do is it will tell systemd that we want to, we have the file ready to go and it's ready to be run. And we just want to tell systemd that we want to start running this when the system starts. So if we do reboot, in this case you might have to do forward slash sbin reboot, this will restart the system. And we can check to see if it has restarted our Mirth Connect. Okay, so now it's just rebooted. So we can log in as the user Mirth. It's our password for Mirth. So what we want to do is forward slash sbin forward slash service birth connect status. And you can see here that it says the service is active running, which means that, it, like you would imagine, it is running. And we didn't have to restart it manually like we would have to before. Um, and from here on out, if everything is it stays the same, uh, and you don't change any of the folder names or, or you know locations of the stuff. This will continue to execute when the system starts.